Hi, welcome to Pilates Core Training. I'm Barbara Bruni. Some of you may have these stability balls at home. I know some people have asked me uh, what to do with these. They were given these as a gift or they bought one because they heard they were good and uh, don't really know what to do. They have a couple of exercises that they perform at home, but there's so many things you can do with these stability balls, physio balls. Um, they are uh, an adjunct to the Pilates work so we can do some of the work that we normally do on the floor and transfer it to the ball. The ball can make it a lot harder because you have to control the ball. If you don't have a ball at home you can still watch the show and do your exercises. I'll show you what to do without the ball to, to do the same exercises. But like always we'll start with the breathing to organize the core muscles and then we'll move on from there. Um, if anything feels uncomfortable then you know always stop. Only work to the point that you're feeling the muscle work but there's no uh, pain in any of the joints, especially your back, neck, shoulders, knees. All right, so let's start by lying down. If you have a ball, place your feet on the ball, your lower legs on the ball, and just keep it. So already you feel like you have to do a little extra work to keep the ball quiet, keep it from moving. If you don't have a ball, just place your feet on the floor, knees bent. And let's just take a few preparatory breaths. Inhale, relaxing your shoulders, allowing the rib cage to expand, not too much belly rising. And exhale. Inhale through your nose. Shoulders stay wide and released. Watch that they don't move as you take the deep breath. And then exhale. As you exhale, bring the rib cage together and move it down, slightly move it down towards the hips. And again, inhaling. And exhaling, feel like the breastbone melts down and sinks into the floor and melts down towards the hips. One more time, inhaling. And as you exhale and the ribs move together and down, feel the obliques tighten in, pull the belly button in and up to activate the deeper abdominals. From here, we're going to add some arm movement. Let's warm up the shoulder girdle a bit. Inhale, take your arms up. Exhale and bring your arms overhead, elbows straight, ribs stay against the mat. Only take the arms as far as you can keep the ribs down and the elbows straight. Watch for popping the ribs up or bending the elbows. So we're really getting into stretching this and opening up the shoulders. Now let's do that three more times. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. And last time, inhale, keep the shoulder blades against the mat as your arms come up. Watch for losing that contact. Keeping the upper back as wide as the chest. So no shortening of the shoulder girdle one way or the other. Let's bring your arms down now. And if you have a ball, separate your legs and bring your knees to the right just a little bit. And you'll feel like you have to control the ball to keep you from totally rolling over onto your right hand side. Work to keep your left shoulder blade against the ball. If you don't have a ball, just drop your knees to the right. Watch that the back of your neck stays long and your shoulders stay down out of your ears. And let's take that to the other side. Take the ball to the left, control it, pull the belly in, use those oblique muscles to keep your body from just totally rolling over to the left. And let's come back to center here. All right, let's place your feet on top of the ball. Hold the ball in place, inhale. As you exhale, press the low back into the mat without pressing your feet too heavy into the ball. So just feel the abdominals kick in. And then inhale, anterior tilt, contract the back muscles, lift your low back off the, ba off the mat. We've done this many, many times before, probably every show for the last four or five years. And then exhale without squeezing your glutes, without pressing into your feet, find the deep abdominals to place the low back against the mat. And last one, inhale, contract the back muscles, anterior tilt, inhaling. And exhale, getting into the deep abdominals. 
and release it. So the move now is to go into your neutral pelvis. So now you're not in either your anterior or your posterior. You have your normal lumbar curve. Maybe you can fit a finger or two under there. And then just challenge it. Exhale, roll the ball away. Inhale, bring the ball in. And do this a few times here. And note if the ball goes one way or the other, which muscle group might want to be leading the way. Inhale in without dropping your low back into the mat and exhale out. So if you could put a cup of water on your lower belly, it wouldn't roll one way or the other as you're moving the legs forward and back. So stabilizing in a very easy way your lumbar spine, no movement of your low back. One more time. Exhale out, inhale in, and hold that. All right, let's bring the ball up. Best way to do that is grab it between your feet and hold on to it. All right, let's extend your legs straight out. We'll work into that shoulder girdle just a bit more here. Inhale as your arms come up, reach the ball to the ceiling. Exhale and imprint them down. Again, you can do this without the ball. Inhale, reach up, feel the shoulder blades come off the mat, and exhale and imprint down. One more time, inhale to reach up. Keep your neck long, watch that this doesn't happen here and then exhale down. Now we're going to take the ball completely overhead, adding that little extra weight to that overhead reach. Exhale, keep the ribs down, watch for losing your abdominals, and inhale, take it up. Another thing you can be doing is flexing your feet. Press the back of your knees down into the mat, Give your hamstrings a bit more stretch, your quads a bit more work, not letting your hip flexors take over and shorten the knees or bend the knees. Exhale to reach, inhale to come up, and last time, exhale to reach, and inhale to come up. Using the ball as a guide as we go into our rollovers, inhale, Exhale, lift your head, nod your chin, and curl up, pull the belly in, and reach over the feet. Your ears are between your upper arms, holding on to this extra weight, really getting into the shoulders. Inhale, and exhale, easy shoulders, tuck the tailbone under, pull the belly button in, and lower all the way down. Inhale, shoulders and ribs press into the mat. Exhale to reach overhead, pull the navel to spine, press the ribs down. Inhale to lift the ball and your head, soften the breastbone, pull the navel to spine, shoulders easy. Keep your elbows long rather than short here. Put the work into the core. Inhale and exhale. Keep the scoop of the abdominals as you lengthen down bone by bone by bone. One more time here. We have a lot to do with this. Exhale as you reach, still flexing your feet, pressing the back of your knees into the mat. Inhale as you lift, and exhale to roll. We're going to stay in a seated position here. Let's go for the stretch, and sit up nice and straight. Place the ball down between your legs, going into a spine stretch. Arms out on the ball. As you exhale, pull the belly in and reach the ball forward. Feel like you're going to touch your low back to the wall behind you and the ball and your feet to the wall in front of you. And hold that, we call it C curve to the lumbar spine. Shoulders down. Now roll the ball over to your right foot. Reach a little farther. Get more of a stretch to the left side of your body. And then take it over to the left and reach and sit up nice and straight okay let's get into working the front of the legs so you can put your feet up on top of the ball and hold this position watch for dropping the shoulders into the ears so lift up nice and tall here constantly pulling the shoulders down and back now just one word, if you don't have a ball, you can go into that same position with your knees bent and do these knee extensions. Otherwise, back to the ball. <laughs> so feet on, heels together, knees out, pointing out to the sides. So we're in an external rotation. If you were to look at your feet, they'd be making a V. Now as you inhale, you're going to bend your knees out to the sides.
without dropping your spine. So keep the spine lifted, belly in. Exhale to reach out, straightening the knees. Inhale to track in. So here you go, now you have a choice. You can be doing this exercise without the ball. And you can be doing this exercise here, really challenging the spinal muscles, the paraspinals, so that we're not rounding. Stay lifted, lifted, lifted. And if you want to go a little bit harder yet, or a lot harder maybe, you know, take the arms off behind you, hold that lift in your core, and now here comes the shake of the quads. Inhale, track in, exhale to reach. Inhale, remember all of our movement starts by stabilizing in the low abs. The more you can kick in these belly muscles, the less you're gonna feel it in the hip flexors. Exhale out, inhale, and let's go. Four, every time you extend the legs, lift up. And three, lift up. And two, lift up, belly in. And last one, and lift up and bring your arms back behind you and take your right foot off the ball. All right, going more into the abdominal work and then we'll go into the reverse muscle, we'll get the hamstrings. Okay, so just the one foot on the ball, the right leg down, kind of a modified teaser. So from this position, we're going to roll down. We're gonna tuck the tail first, so don't collapse the upper back. Keep the upper back up, tuck the tailbone, and curl halfway down. Inhale here, exhale, pull the belly in, and roll up. And then inhale, find neutral. Without the ball, you'll have your knees bent, and you'll curl the tailbone and roll down. And roll up, and sit up straight. So you can do all these exercises without the ball. All right, so let's do five more on this side. Inhale, keep the chest up, tuck the tailbone, roll. Inhale, and exhale to roll up. Inhale, straight. When you curl to go down, watch that your hips not shifting. So you're constantly thinking about lengthening out this top leg. And roll up, inhale, and three. Don't let that belly button pop up. And exhale up, inhale, tall, and two. Check the hip alignment and roll up. And last one, exhale, hold it, inhale. Exhale, take the arms overhead. As the arms go up, pull in here. Two more, exhale, tuck the tail more. And last one, exhale, inhale, and roll up. All right, that was a mean trick. <laughs> All right, let's switch legs. Now you know it'll come on this side. All right. I have to uh, make sure your ball doesn't shoot out from under you. Sometimes skin contact there will just keep it in place. All right, so um, rolling down. Here we go. Get ready. Keep this knee straight. Inhale, keep the chest open, shoulders back, tuck the tailbone, roll down. Check the waistband, keep it straight. Inhale, exhale, roll. Inhale, lift. Exhale, tuck the tail, curl back, inhale. Exhale to roll. Inhale, three more. Get that shake going. <laughs> and really quiver, finding new muscle in there, and roll up. Inhale, taller, taller, always gaining length through the spine as if you could reach out the back of your head. Two more, exhale. Inhale, keep the shoulders out of the ears. Keep reaching long out your top leg. All right, here comes the last one. Exhale, hold, inhale. Exhale, arms go up three. As your hands go up, your shoulder blades go down. Two, always that opposition. Last one. Inhale and exhale and release it. Let's just lower all the way down. If you don't have a ball, go into bridge, feet on the mat, knees bent. Otherwise, feet on the ball. Actually, lower legs on the ball. And it, to make it a little bit easier, the closer the ball comes in, the easier it is, the less challenge to your balance and coordination. To make it more challenging, you take it all the way out till it's underneath your ankles. All right, so here we go. Inhale, 
Exhale, posterior tilt, then press your feet down into the ball to lift your hips off the mat. Shoulders wide, make sure you're holding that stability, not from gripping the chest and neck, but from using the core muscles. Little glute squeeze to hold stability. Spot your vision up on the wall or up on the ceiling. And then you can hold here, or if you wanna challenge this just a little bit, Take one arm all the way overhead. As your arm goes up, don't forget these. Keep these very active. Otherwise, we'll forget and we'll start to sink. And then bring the right arm down. And let's do the left. Inhale, keep the chin down. And exhale. And right arm, inhale. And exhale. And left. Now, as your arm comes back down, keep your shoulder blade against the mat. Watch that we're not way up here, but keep the shoulder square. So you always want to keep that width across your upper back and chest. And remember when you take your arm overhead to keep the elbows straight. All right, let's roll down. Exhale, soften the breastbone rib by rib, scoop the belly, and rest a minute. Bring your knees into your chest because uh, while that's a lot of balance, it's also a lot of work to the back of the legs. We're going to do another set. This time, we're going to take both arms. So when one arm comes up, the other arm will go down. So it's like taking the training wheels off. All right, inhale to prepare. Exhale, posterior tilt, then press your feet into the ball and hold that stability. And give yourself a little turnout, wrapping your thighs, pulling the belly in, aiming the tailbone up to the back of the heels. Now inhale, take your right arm overhead. As your right arm comes down, your left arm goes up. And switch, belly in, and switch and four more, ribs down. Make sure you're not in your neck, shoulder blades imprinted, and four more, and three, two, and last one. Bring your left arm down, hold it, inhale, and exhale to soften down and rest. Let's bring the ball in, roll off to one side, and come up to a seated position. All right, not to leave the arms out, we're going to uh, use this ball to strengthen the arms. So best way to do that is to go into some upper body weight bearing using the ball. So these exercises we've done quite a bit without the ball. So let me show those to you so that you have an option. Hands will be right underneath your shoulder blades. I want this ball to roll off here. Your hands will be directly under your shoulder blades and spine in neutral. Tuck your tailbone under. There goes the ball. Okay. And here we go. You're going to lift your knees up off the mat, transferring all that weight into your shoulder girdle. Watch for hiking the shoulders or rounding the spine or dropping the spine. So keep it in a straight line and release. So you can continue to do those exercises without the ball. With the ball is considerably more challenging. You're going to take the ball and place it underneath the tops of your feet. <laughs> okay, here we go. Spread your fingers wide, shoulders down the back, belly in. Feel these muscles engage. Sometimes they're hard to feel, but do your best. Elbows straight. Now, looking straight down, as you exhale, press the top of your feet into the ball and lift and release. You may have to go retrieve your ball. Go retrieve your ball. Try it again. So now you feel how you have to really kick in the sides, the uh, lateral stabilizers, your obliques. Heavy armpits, long neck. Let's go for eight. Inhale, exhale, and release. And exhale up for seven and release. Watch for dropping your head and exhale up for six and release. Exhale five, release and four, release. Feel like you're pressing the back of your neck up to the ceiling and then heavy armpits. Three, 
and two, and last one, and take it down for a minute. Okay, now a little bit of upper body full core exercise. We're going to now take our hands and put them on the ball. So a completely different feel. Instead of our feet being on the ball, we have to stabilize with different muscles. We're gonna come up on what's called high kneel. So up on our knees. Your knees are going to be about in line with your, your, your uh, hip bone. So watch that you're not standing too wide. Let me make it a little easier. <laughs> All right. Hands are out to the edges of the ball. Belly in, you're in a straight line, ear, shoulder, hip to knee. And then you're going to maintain that straight line as you pivot forward. Watch here that this doesn't happen. You're going to stay in the hip, stay in the low belly, and then pop right back up. So straight line, if you were just a board, if you had a board behind you, it would tilt forward and tilt back from the knees and you wouldn't let anything bend off of that board. The farther out you go, the more you have to kick in your shoulder stabilizers, your triceps, your low abs, your ribs, your glutes. So let's do five more. Inhale tall. Exhale to go forward. Squeeze and inhale up. Watch for this shortening. You don't want to let that shorten and exhale four, and up, and exhale, lifting tall through the back of your head so nothing changes. Always, always, always crave for more space between the vertebra. And last two, and last one, and release it. All right, let's get into some outer thigh, some hip work. This is an interesting exercise. Very um, intense on the hip. Now, we've done these where we just lie flat on the mat with your head against your um, upper arm or propped up on your elbow. On the ball, it's a bit more challenging. If this bottom hip starts to bother you, then roll out a little farther so there's less of an angle here. The more this hip is bent, the more you're going to feel it in that hip. All right, lift your top leg. And here we're still in neutral. So watch for being slack, rounded forward. Tail in, lift your leg so it's as high as you can get it, almost parallel with the floor. So hand can be on the ball for a bit more stability. You're going to inhale and kick your leg forward. So the trick here is to not let the ball roll and then exhale, kick back. And now you're gonna find an end point with your thigh and your hip socket. So by pulling this in, you find that you can't go back any farther. If you keep going, we're just torquing in the low back, we've lost our neutral spine. So inhale, ball doesn't roll. And exhale, belly in, reach through the foot, hit that end point. And inhale, your headlights on your hip bones facing straight ahead, reach back. Keep the knees straight. Let's go four. Pull the belly in. And two. Shoulders out of your ears. And three. And one more. And hold it. Hold it. Now keep your kneecap aiming straight ahead and bring your foot to your butt. And then exhale. And inhale and exhale, lift the leg a little higher. Inhale, when you straighten your leg, you're gonna squeeze your glutes, pull your belly in. And last three, and last two, and last one. And hold it, little kick ups, 10, nine, eight. Keep the belly in, keep the shoulders relaxed. Five, four, three, two, one. Ah, oh, let's go to the other side. Nice work. Really important to keep the outer thigh and the outer hip strong, especially if you play any kind of sports or you tend to have low back. That can be instability or weakness of these muscles can really transfer into a, 
um, sore, tight, low back. Okay, so moving right along. Make sure you're in a comfort point with this standing hip and lift your top leg. Get in a comfortable position, because here we go. Inhale, flex your foot to kick forward. Exhale, point to take it back. And let's go seven. Every time you go back, hit that end range, tail tuck belly in. And six. Five. Exhale back. Four, keep lifting your leg. Three, try to keep the ball from rolling one way or the other. Two, I hope you still like your stability balls after this class. And last one, and hold it, hold it. Hamstring kicks, bend and extend. Good, inhale, keep your knee aiming straight ahead. Don't let it come in on you. And out, very nice. We're gonna do one more on this side and we'll stretch out because we're almost done. Hold it, little kicks. Remember, if you have any questions regarding any of these exercises or you want more information or you want me to address something on the air, please call in, rest. Um, my leg is sliding out from under me. All right, please, you can call the show or um, check the email out. Sit back on your hips, stretch that out. Feel free to contact me. I'd be happy to hear from you. And roll up, pull the belly in. There's so much more you can do on this ball. I look forward to doing another class on this. Thanks for tuning in, and I will see you next time.